Hi, I'm Roger from Changing the View. This video will be an installation of a new product powered by WineGuard. This is Togo. Togo is a 4G router and Wi-Fi extender and it is designed and, and engineered for the RV. Now if you follow our travels, you know that my wife and I are online school teachers. We require a good Wi-Fi signal or a strong cellular signal in order to work. We have been on the road for about seven months or so now. We've been able to manage. Uh, we're Verizon customers, so we have our Verizon hotspots. And if, um, if the campground Wi-Fi is not strong enough for us to do our online teaching, we usually rely on our hotspots from Verizon. However, Within those seven months, there we have certainly run across some times where the connection was not all that it needed to be. And in fact, a few times we had to relocate because of poor connection. So we're hoping that this product will be uh, the solution to our problem. This product retails for about $3.99. I was able to get a slight savings through a Black Friday deal. It comes with uh, this device, which is mounted to the roof of the RV with a cable. A package here with some additional wiring and a switch that will be inside the camper. A cap for the hole that you have to drill on the top of the camper through the roof. That's going to be the hard part for me. Um, and some other uh, accessories like screws and wire connections. We also have our manual and instructions here which I'll be reading very carefully before we do this installation. Now I would like to to say that with this product there is an, an add-on for an additional cost AT&T has a program with this device exclusively through this device for $360 you can have unlimited data for one year so do the math it's about $30 a month and if this product does what everybody claims that it does I think it'll be money well spent now my wife and I will keep our Verizon uh, service and this is just going to be an add-on to that so we'll we're hoping that between what we currently have with Verizon and our hotspots and this product that we will have no trouble with our connections on the second leg of this adventure so without further ado let's get this thing installed the Togo device of course will be mounted on the roof so a wire has to be routed from that location to the interior of the coach. So let me show you what I have in mind. I'm going to drill a hole in this corner of this linen closet. By the way, we are in a Grand Design Reflection 2014. It's a fifth wheel 337 RLS. I am currently in the bathroom of, uh, of our RV. This is the linen closet. I'm going to drill a hole in this corner right here and route that wire behind this lip here so it will not be seen. I'm going to drill into this lower cabinet here. Again, this is our linen closet where we keep our towels. And I'm going to drill through this wall into the living room. So let's go in there and see uh, what we're going to do from there. Right, we're now in the living room of the RV. This is the wall that separates the bathroom from the living room. We're going to be drilling a hole through that wall right above this second shelf here where it will not be seen. We're going to route that wire through this cabinet. And we're going to end up over here in this uh, panel. This is where we'll obtain our 12 volt power where we'll have that connection and then under here There are currently three switches there now I'm gonna put an additional switch and mount it right beside these others uh, to power the Togo So we have the uh, device mounted on the roof of the RV. I just wanted to show you that after I mount mounted it. This is actually uh, The day after I mounted it There's some water here, but we had a little rain this morning, but it's four legs. Of course, you, you make sure that you seal it uh, very well. Four screws that go down to hold this in place. It's very light, probably only a, somewhere between a pound and two pounds. So extremely light. Just bolt it down with some uh, screws that are provided. Make sure that you seal the footings really well. They also suggest that this be mounted on the center line of the RV, so I decided to mount it here between the front air condition and this vent. And uh, they also said to make sure that the wire 
that's connected to the device is actually coming out of the back of the unit and not the front. So make sure this is coming out toward the back of the RV. Um, now I'm gonna show you where I drilled the hole and how we sealed that. So this is where the hole was drilled for the wire to enter the interior of the RV. This plate is provided in the package with uh, some screws. I used four screws to put this plate down with uh, that coming to the back and make sure that it's sealed really well. And then I'm gonna come back with some tape and tape down this cable that's running to the device right there. Make sure that's all uh, taped down and secure. So I was able to uh, successfully drill up through here to the device on the roof. Here's the cable here. I'm going to um, neaten that up by putting it in the corner where no one can see it. Drill the hole down into this cabinet. And here's where I went through the wall uh, to the living room cabinets. Again, I'm going to I'm going to secure all this cable here and um, fill in these holes here and here and there. Again, it's sealed on the on the roof already, but I'm going to tidy this up a bit. So above this shelf here is where the wire came through from the linen closet in the bathroom. I was able to snake that through this cabinet on the second shelf here and into down here um, into this compartment. I pulled this out to get my 12-volt you know, connection here and I was able to, I don't know if I can see, but under here, right here is where I put the um, switch. Move those hats and see if you can get a better view. Um, maybe with this light on I can see. So uh, if you can see right here, so I got my 12 volt connection, 12 volt power here and put my switch, the Togo switch is right here underneath this cabinet. So successful installation, after you have everything installed and connected and have power to the unit, you have to uh, download an app, um, I believe it's called uh, WineGuard Connected. Just follow the... Uh, the uh, app instructions to get connected. We went ahead and purchased the uh, 4G plan from AT&T. Again, it's $360 for um, the annual plan. So that's about $30 a month. You get unlimited data, however, at I think 20, after you use uh, 20 uh, gigabytes of data, uh, they don't throttle you like Verizon does, but they will prioritize you on the tower that you're using so if there's a, a lot of traffic on that tower you may get um, lowered uh, your connection may be a little bit lower because they prioritize that at that point however Cindy and I are teaching very very early in the morning uh, she starts uh, typically around 2 I start around 3 and on the weekends we start earlier than that that's a.m. so shouldn't have a whole lot of traffic at that hour uh, in the area that we're in so I think we'll be good we're gonna uh, we have it all connected and uh, just checked we have 4G connection with AT&T through this unit we have not tried uh, the Wi-Fi extender yet but we will be um, doing a follow-up video on this product uh, product review after we've used it for several months we'll get back with you and, and let you know um, how it worked for us so uh, in the meantime, um, we're going to test this bad boy out. Thanks for watching. Please leave any comments or questions below. Remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, smash that like button. We'll see you down the road.